12-year-old Janet Silva doesn't smile much and eating and talking are difficult. A scarf covers her face to hide the massive tumor that has been expanding inside her mouth for three years. The tumor is growing and it's growing rapidly. The growth has now reached the size of a small watermelon. Any larger and Janet's life will be in jeopardy. But now doctors at Staten Island University Hospital have stepped in to remove it. The surgery is going to dramatically change the way she looks. Janet's mother says her daughter started complaining about pain in her mouth when she was nine. The pair sought medical care at home in the Gambia and then Senegal without success. Doctors there emailed an international surgeons group with a plea for help. Dr. David Hoffman, an oral surgeon, responded. He assembled a team of highly specialized surgeons here who will help Janet for free. Really a group of experts for every phase of her surgery. Janet and her mother arrived on Staten Island last month thanks to the Global Medical Relief Fund, a locally based charity that aids critically ill or injured children. Elisa Montanti helped to coordinate the many doctor appointments leading up to Janet's surgery. As doctors work to remove Janet's tumor, a second team of surgeons will be working to remove a bone in her leg that will be used to rebuild her jawbone. Although it's very large, there is very, very little risk to the important things in the head and neck. That's because doctors plan to work around the intricate set of nerves in Janet's face. They've practiced using 3D images of her CAT scans, enabling them to become familiar with her face before they actually begin to work on it. The surgery will be done on January 15th and likely last 10 hours. And then doctors say Janet will be able to smile again. On Staten Island, Amanda Farinacci, New York One.